Hi, this is Ernots. I get a lot of requests on the internet regarding the lures that I use in Mexico. So today I'm going to show you one of my favorite lures. I call it the mouse. It's a very simple lure or it's very effective. It's a topwater lure, weights about 2.2 ounces, cast like a bullet. I can cast this lure easy 130, 140 yards, no effort with the right rod and the right reel, of course. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make one of these lures. And I'm gonna give you information on where to get them if you wanna get one. So the first thing that we do is, I already made my mold. Okay, I have my mold. I have my weights here with a wire through. That's how I make these lures. I don't take shortcuts here, so we're gonna make them wire through so we put this here center everything make sure everything is nice and center we cover the mold couple of pieces of plywood some rubber bands make sure everything is nice and tight okay Make sure the weights are on the bottom of the mold. Make sure everything is centered. Put this aside. Now we take, I'm gonna take my scale, little cap here, zero this in. Take my notes. I need 28 grams of resin. So I'm gonna do 14 and 14. This is the, the resin that I use, so I'm going to put 14 grams of part A. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with part B. 14 ounces for a total of 28. There we go. We're going to make this lure yellow, so I'm going to add a little bit of dye, don't need much, just a couple of drops. Now we're going to steer this, we got to do this quick because this resin works very fast and you don't want to get it. So I can feel it now, it's already getting hot, so I'm going to pour this into the mold. And you want to do this very slow so you don't get any bubbles, air bubbles trapped inside the mold. So steady hand here. And you just pour in. I'm going to stop right there. Make sure that the weights are at the bottom of the mold. Continue here. Okay, and it is exactly 28 grams. It's already filled to the top. So we're gonna leave, leave this here for seven minutes while it dries, and then we're gonna open it up and see what we got. I'm back. Let's see what we got here. Let's get this out of the way. We're gonna take the rubber bands out. And let's see, this resin gets hot. So I gotta be careful that I don't burn myself here. <coughs> Sorry about that. All right, let's see what we got. And there he is, the little mouse. Perfect. So we're gonna trim it a little bit, fix him up a little bit. pull the wire remember this is a wire through the wire goes from the back to the front so there's no way you can pull that the fish is going to pull that hook all right now we take I take my knife here we trim it a little bit clean it up Let me 
clean this up a little bit here. Okay, so there you got it. This is the mouse in yellow. Um, I'm going to make the loop here for the hook. So we take our round nose pliers like so. Make a little loop on this side here. All right. Take the vice grip. And we go three times around. Hold it. Trim the top here. All right, so there's the loop. Now we're going to do the eyes. So for the eyes, I need to make a pilot hole. That's the first thing that we do. Take my drill here plywood so I don't damage my table and we're gonna go all the way through here take some crazy glue a little bit of crazy glue 3d eyes these are really good they really get the attention of the fish push it in and now we do the other side Crazy glue, the eye, and there you have it, the mouse, excellent top water lure, it's going to catch a lot of fish, it's going to catch uh, blue fish, blue runners, jacks, so there you have it, this is the lure, finished, ready to go fishing. Once again, it's 2.1 ounces, cast like a bullet. If you want more information, just feel free to email me. My email address is on the bottom of the screen. If you have any questions regarding the other type of loops that we use, the rods, the reels, the line that we use, anything, just feel free to contact me and I'll be more than happy to answer all your questions. Thank you.